Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Whip It Like Butter. It's your girl Ashley, and today I'm going to show you how to make these delicious vanilla cupcakes. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to show y'all how it was done. Let's go. Okay, I don't know about y'all, but I can't wait to try these cupcakes. Okay, so the recipe calls for 12 cupcakes. But don't be like me and like, you know, overfill them like this one right here and this one right here is higher than this one right here. So if you fill them as evenly as possible, you can get 12 cupcakes. Or you're going to get like 11 cupcakes like me or 10. But yeah, we still going to roll with it because, mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and try our cupcake. Feel the wrap of that. All right, let me show y'all that even. Move it down here for y'all. How 
it's evenly cooked. See that there? Okay, then we have this buttercream frosting. Oh, this frosting is pretty sweet, but of course, it's pretty delicious. If you want something like a little lighter, you may want to try like um, my cream cheese frosting I've used for other recipes. But yeah, these cupcakes aren't super. They didn't have a lot of sugar in them, so a good buttercream frosting is nice. And um, the cream cheese frosting, it'll settle a little bit, but these this buttercream frosting, you see like it stands up like this. Mm-hmm. The cupcake itself is not super sweet, so that frosting is really a nice balance. Mm -hmm. That is super good. Moist. Let's talk about these sprinkles. Okay, so I thought the sprinkles were going to be a good idea, obviously, so I put them on here. And they started rolling off. But, like, it's hard to shoot, like, white sometimes. So I thought the sprinkles with the wrapper, like, it would really stand out. So I did the sprinkles, and I still sprinkled them on with the pictures, you know, to make it look cute. But yeah, they didn't work out the way I wanted them to. But it's okay. We just roll with it. But I didn't put them like, and I would suggest you wouldn't do it. I didn't put them in. When I did the frosting, like you can dump them in at the end, but I wanted to just put them in there at all. And mixing them in there. Because once you start mixing them, they're going to streak. And you don't want streaks in your frosting like it's all nice and pretty. You don't want that. So I'll definitely say... It's a no for the sprinkles on this one. Unless you just want them, you know, to make it nice and pretty. And when you mix up your frosting, you can use a hand mixer. I always tell y'all you can use a hand mixer or a stand mixer with my recipes. When you mix up your frosting, I would typically maybe say that you can use um, a whisk. But it depends on how soft your butter is and how much work. It won't be that bad. I think it's just easier with a hand mixer or a stand mixer. Mm. These are some really good cupcakes. I love these wrappers. Mm -hmm. Y'all definitely make sure that you don't over make your batter. That's the key to making sure that your desserts come out and they're nice and light. Mm. I'm I'm making a mess over here. And since I went, we're really good. No, one more. Mm. Yeah, this isn't the usual content. How I do my content over here on this channel. I'm trying something new. But if y'all like it, we'll definitely keep doing it. Definitely making sure.
I have the ingredients on the screen for y'all. But you can always find the ingredients down in the description box. Yeah, before I was doing like a link in the description box to the recipe. But let me know if you still want a link or if you just want me to put the recipe ingredients in the description box. Definitely make sure you have some water handy. Because they're sweet. But they're good. But they're not like sweet. Mm-hmm. Oh, I remember last time I had a cupcake. The homemade cupcakes are definitely better than the store bought. Mm. I think that's enough for me. Y'all. Put this recipe in the description box below. Don't be stingy. Make sure that you share. And make sure you come back for more recipes with a light butter. Bye.